Welcome to our lecture online. Our next problem deals with a double lens system. Two lenses, one is a concave and one is a convex lens. Notice the two lenses are 10 centimeters apart and an object is placed 10 centimeters in front of the first lens. What did you want us to figure out? Well, let's read the problem. It says an extended object is placed at a point O, right there, 10 centimeters in front of a convex lens L1 and a concave lens L2, which is placed 10 centimeters behind it, as shown in the figure. The radii of curvature of all the curved surfaces in both the lenses are 20 centimeters. The refractive index of both lenses, oh, I think I forgot to mention index. I need a word index in here. The refractive index of both lenses is 1.5. The total magnification of this lens system is. So they want us to know the total magnification of the final image relative to the original object given this information. Now what's interesting is they did not give us the focal length of the lenses, otherwise it would be a little bit easier. We first need to use the lens maker's equation to find the focal length of both lenses. So that equation goes as follows. 1 over f equals n minus 1 times 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2. So that's how we find the, the focal length of both lenses. So let's go ahead and use that. So we have 1 over f equals 1.5 minus 1 times 1 over r1. Now we are told that the radii are 20 centimeters and when it bulges to the left it's a positive value so it would be 1 over 20 plus, oh not plus, minus, sorry about that would be minus 1 over, now the back surface is, is bulging to the right, so that's a minus 20 right there. And so cleaning this up a little bit, we have 1 over f is equal to 0 0.5 times 1 over 20 plus 1 over 20, that would be 1 over 10 times 0.5, so that would be 0 0.5, or sometimes it's easier to just write it as a fraction, so let's just write as a fraction 1 over 2 times 1 over 10, which is 1 over 20, which means the focal length for the first lens is equal to 20 centimeters. All right, so that's a 20 centimeter focal length lens. How about the second lens? Well, we have 1 over f is equal to, is equal to 1.5 minus 1 times now notice that this is bulging to the right, so that's a negative value, minus 1 over 20, minus, and that's bulging to the left, so that's a positive value, 1 over 20, like this. And notice we get 1 over f is equal to 1 half times negative 1 20th minus 1 20. That would be equal to 1 half times a minus 1 over 10, which is negative 1 over 20, which means that f2, that's the second lens, has a focal length of minus 20 centimeters. So that would be minus 20 centimeters. And now that we have that, the focal length of both lenses, we're now actually able to figure out what we're like trying to find is the magnification of the two lens system. So the next thing we need to do is figure out where the images are going to be. I like to use S and S prime. S is the object distance, S prime is the image distance. I know that some books use P and Q. It's just a preference. I just like to use S and S prime. So for the, for the image of the first lens, we're going to say that we have uh, S prime is equal to SF over S minus F. So it's a product over the sum uh, kind of formula for that. And so in this case, we know that it's 10 centimeters from the object to the first lens. The focal length is 20 centimeters, so this would be S, which, would, which is equal to 10 minus 20. So that's 200 over minus 10, which is minus 20 centimeters. So the image is minus 20 centimeters to the left of the lens. So that puts it right over here. So here we have our first image. That would be image one, and the distance from there to there would be 20 centimeters. Negative means to the left in front of the first lens, which means that this now becomes the object of the second lens, which means that that's going to be a distance of 20 plus 10, or 30 centimeters in front of the second lens. So then we have 
Uh, that's for the first lens. And for the second lens, S2 prime is going to be S2 F2 divided by S2 minus F2. So in this case, that would be 30 times a minus 20 divided by 30 minus a minus 20. So that's equal to a minus 600 divided by a plus 50. And so it would be minus 12 centimeters. So that puts it at minus 12 centimeters right here in front of the, to the left of the second lens. So this here would be 12 centimeters. Doesn't look like a 12, but make it look like it. All right. So now that we have S1 prime and S2 prime, we now can figure out the magnification of the two lens system. The magnification is going to be the product of the magnification of the two individual lenses, which is going to be minus S1 prime over S1 multiplied times minus S2 prime over S2. So over here, magnification is equal to S1 prime a minus that, so it's a positive 20 divided by S1, which is a positive 10. And we're going to multiply the times a minus S2 prime, so that would be a plus 12, divided by S2, uh, S2, that would be the distance, that's going to be 30 centimeters, right there, like this. And so that would be equal to two multiplied times 12 over 30, that's uh, four tenths, I believe, right? If you divide it by three, that's four. That's four tenths. And so that would be equal to eight over 10, which is equal to four over five. So do we have an answer like that in our answer? And we certainly do, that's answer B. So the total magnification of the two lens system is 0 0.8. That means the image, the final image of the second lens is eight tenths the size of the original object that was placed in front of the first lens. So again, let's do a quick recap. So they gave us a double lens system. They placed an object 10 centimeters in front of the first lens. They did not give us the focal length of the two lenses. So we have to use the lens maker's equation, one over F equals N minus one times one over R1 minus one over R2. Index of refraction was given, so 1.5 minus 1 is 0.5. We have 1 over 20 minus 1 over negative 20. When it bulges to the left is positive, when it bulges to the right is negative. So we subtract a negative number, that becomes a positive number. That's 1 half times 1 tenth or 1 twentieth. So therefore, when we take the inverse, the focal length of the first lens is a positive 20 centimeters. Since the second lens has the same curvature, but it's a it's a diverging lens, we have a negative focal length of minus 20 centimeters. Once we have the focal length, we go through the process one step at a time. So we find S1 prime, which is SF over S minus F. The object distance is 10 centimeters, the focal length is 20, so we have 10 times 20 divided by 10 minus 20, or 200 over negative 10, which is a minus 20 centimeters, which means the image is placed 20 centimeters in front of the first lens, negative means in front, and that will now become the object of the second lens. 20 centimeters plus 10 is now 30 centimeters in front of the lens. So SF over S minus F, now that's for the second lens, so the subscripts are 2. 30 centimeters from the object to the lens. The focal length is minus 20. 30 minus a minus 20, that's a minus 600 divided by plus 50 is a minus 12 centimeters. That's the location of the final image. Let's call it image 2. That's 12 centimeters in front or to the left of the second lens. And then the magnification is the negative of the ratio of S prime over S, image distance over object distance. And so in this case, we have a negative of an, times a negative, right? So we have S1 prime, which is right here. So negative times a negative is a positive 20 over the object distance of 10. That gives us a positive two for the magnification of the first lens. And then for the second lens, we have the negative S2 prime, that's a negative times a negative or a positive 12, divided by the object distance, which is 30. So we get 2 times 4 tenths, or 8 tenths, or 4 fifths. And 8 tenths is the answer B of the choices. And that is how it's done. I don't think you can do this in three minutes. <laughs> That's a tough one to do in three minutes, but you gotta work quick on this one.